The next question is from Krishani Danji. Krishani Danji from SBS News. Uh, you've all outlined a lot of the priorities that you'd be pursuing uh, in Parliament, but can I ask, will you work together as a bloc? And if you do, what are the priorities that you would work together on to well, together? Well, speaking for me as a member of the lower house, I'm here to represent Warringah. That's the, the people that I represent. Um, I think there is alignment of principles in the crossbench, or some members of the crossbench, when it comes to looking at legislation on its merits, taking broad and varied uh, uh, briefings and, in, and um, submissions from, uh, in, from groups like the Law Council if on a question of integrity, those things are issue. I certainly cannot speak for other members of the crossbench. But if you look at the voting record of this last parliament, on a number of occasions, it was a crossbench that actually held a spotlight to the major parties for their failure to really take a stance, take a question of principle, when it was a failure to pass the amendments and the, and the uh, re recommendations of the Samuels Review to the EPBC Act, for example, or to stop fracking for gas of the Beetaloo Basin. For all the talk we get from the major parties, Labor and the Coalition voted together. And so that is selling out our future, selling out the ch our children's future, because that is a methane bomb waiting to happen. So, no, I cannot speak for other mem independent members when it comes uh, to the lower house. But what I do know is some of the candidates running for election are amazing people, amazingly capable. They are qualified. They are experienced. We are talking award-winning journalists. We are talking CEOs of companies. We are talking to people that will bring their professional skills to the table and bring a real integrity and merit-based approach. And that's why I encourage everyone Australian in around Australia to support independent candidates. Adam Bant. I don't think you would find working together as a bloc because we're all representing different areas, different constituencies. Um, but one of the things I think if you look back at the last parliament that you'll find is that uh, there is an understanding that the crossbench, as diverse as we are, are bringing issues and putting them on the table when the other parties don't want to touch them. And so uh, this goes to the, the question before um, from Laura about reforms to Parliament. One of the things uh, that I would certainly be pushing for is to ensure that in the next Parliament there's greater opportunity for members of the crossbench, whatever part of the political spectrum they're sitting on, to bring matters before the Parliament. We saw that back in the 2010 Parliament and it got results. I got a, a bill through to give um, protection for firefighters who were contracting cancer. It made it easier for them to do that. That's the kind of thing when you have the systems in place that allow uh, third voices to get the issues on the agenda that the others don't want to touch and then progress them through the parliament, uh, you see some really good outcomes for people. I think uh, one of the things that this parliament has also shown is that there are many, many instances where Labor and go, sits up and goes and sits and votes with the Liberals, and it's often the members of the crossbench, perhaps not all of them, but some of them who are voting independently on the basis of their own views, but calling them out and calling them to account.